do you have plans tomorrow night? Uh, sure, ma'am. Woo! Look at that. Tomorrow night, starting at 7.30, straight on the dot. It's the premiere of our newest Friday night football show, Texas Football Tonight. We are so excited, and if we sound a little bit tired, it's because we have been working our butts off this entire week, really this entire month, a couple of months, I guess I should say, since February, on making sure that everything is ready to go for tomorrow night. And one of the the biggest things that we're going to highlight tomorrow night, we've got six spotlight games that we're going to constantly be diving into throughout the two and a half hour premiere of Texas football tonight. Um, So yeah, let's get right into it. Let's look at, we're going to announce our six spotlight games that we're going to be looking and diving straight into um, tomorrow night on Texas football tonight. So, well, eight of them, but two of them are happening tonight. And then six of them we're going to be diving into um, a lot tomorrow night. So correct. Yeah. So starting off with the show, we'll have a uh, recap coverage of these two games starting off hot. It is number two Longview in 5A Division One, traveling down to the DFW to take on the 6A number 22 ranked McKinney Lions coach John King, coach Marcus Shavers on the broadcast, Greg Powers our uh, director of recruiting, making his play-by-play debut. And Matt Stepp, our Texas high school football insider on color. This matchup is going to be really electric. The amount of recruits oh in my this gosh, game. There's just prospects everywhere. Insane. I mean, you get to watch the dynamicness that is uh, Taylor Tatum from Longview. McKinney could literally roll out a scroll of the recruits mm-hmm. that they have. Powers and Step are through the roof excited. This one kicking off at 7 o'clock p.m., tonight Thursday night game um, but we will have full coverage and post game thoughts from step and powers to provide to you tomorrow on Dave Campbell's Texas football tonight in the same vein another absolute banger happening on Dave Campbell's Texan live tonight it is the Denton Ryan Raiders taking on the 6a New Braunfels Unicorns Go Corns, as they say. This one, if you remember, a very tasty rematch of last year's mm-hmm. Week 1 Thursday night matchup. They're running it back. Um, New Braunfels shocked the state, taking it down Denton Ryan, who was a state finalist the year before that. And uh, they've got the opportunity to do it again. I have – if I, I'm very excited for Longview McKinney. I am very interested in this game tonight because it's a really big powerhouse name brand Mm -hmm. game with a lot of implications that I feel like for the rest of the season because if Ryan was to go and slip up against New Braunfels again this year and lose another opening night game that there might be cause for concern there Mm -hmm. so I'm very interested to see how this one plays out we will have the game live tonight Trevor Bullard on the call from down there at UMHB in Belton, Texas. So that one kicking off at 7. But if you miss it, we will have a full recap tomorrow on Texas Football Tonight. Now moving in to our Spotlight Games for the inaugural episode of the Dave Campbell's Texas Football Tonight show. We will start off with number 10, Atascacita. They're in 6A out of Humble, taking on 6A foe Dickinson, the Gators ready to come back and try and fight off a powerhouse in Atascacita. Our very own Gavin Moritz will be on the call for that one. That one also kicking off at 7 o'clock. And not to give away too much, but Gavin Mm -hmm. has been hanging around the Atascacita program and has a story that I think everyone, whether you're an Atascacita fan or not, will really, really enjoy. He'll be throwing to that live from down there in um, Dickinson. So we are incredibly excited to see that one. Sticking in the Houston area, shall we? How about this one? This one's exciting. This one is tasty for a multitude of reasons. Obviously, anytime Manville and Shadow Creek play, it's interesting. Yes. Because... For the, anybody who might not know a little bit of the history here, these are two Alvin ISD schools. Manville, the longtime powerhouse down there in Alvin ISD. Shadow Creek, the new, not the newest, Iowa Colony is the newest, but the <laughs> second newest um, school in the just growing metropolis that is Alvin. Um, Kirk Martin, the former Manville head coach, spent some time in the college ranks, 
He then has spent the past couple of years at Colleyville Heritage up here in the DFW. Well, Kirk Martin is heading back home, and he's going to face the program that took quite a bit away mm-hmm. from his athletic department before he left. They, Manville made it to the state championship with Coach Martin's son, Kaysen, being the quarterback in 2017. And then Kirk Martin left following that year, now to return to play the school that kind of divided his program in half. So very excited. We have an unbelievable piece put together, hosted by um, our very own Aaron Hardigan, that we are incredibly excited for you to watch. Our own Chase Snyder will be there on the call, that one tipping at 7 from Freedom Field in Iowa Colony, Texas. Moving on now, how about we spice things up and do a little Woo. DFW versus Austin matchup. Arlington Martin with a brand new head coach heading down um, to take on the Cavaliers of Lake Travis. They are our 11th ranked team. This is a matchup that has gone on for a long time in mm-hmm. in non-district play. Um, actually, oddly enough, the first ever Texas high school football game that I covered was a uh, Arlington Martin versus Lake Travis game way back in the day. Really? I didn't uh, know that. Yeah, it was played up in uh, Arlington at the UTA Old Stadium. So oh, this yeah. is a matchup that That's is right. near and dear to my heart. It's very fun to see what a new look Arlington Martin Warriors squad mm-hmm. looks like. And uh, Lake Travis, the powerhouse is back again. That one is always fun. We'll have our buddies uh, from Austin down there on the call. That one is at, I think that one's at seven. Am I right? I am right. That one is at seven. All right. Again, an Austin area team, but moving up more into the greater Waco area. We have Leander Rouse, of 5A Division Two, taking on, punching up to take on Lake Belton. That's a good one. The Broncos. Um, if you are into recruits, may I introduce you to Mr. Micah Hudson himself? <laughs> we are so excited to spotlight Micah Hudson and Brian Cope's Lake Belton Broncos on Dave Campbell's Texan Live this entire season. This one should be fun. We have a lot to talk about with Micah Hudson, and we will be joining Russell Maben down there for that. Two more left to go. How about a Beast Whoa. Texas matchup? Beast Texas. And not just any Beast Texas matchup. If you're a fan of Texas high school football, mm-hmm. this is one you have to be locked in on. We have the number three ranked team in 4A Division One in the Jeff Reardon's Tyler Chapel Hill Bulldogs taking on the number five, fifth ranked Gilmer Buckeyes out of 4A Division Two. This is just one of those games that it does not get better than this out there mm-hmm. in East Texas. So incredibly excited to watch that one. And then how about we round it out with a DFW game that is another thing that if you're a fan of football, allow me to take you to Decatur, Texas. Because the number five ranked Decatur Eagles are in 4A Division One are taking on, in their same classification, the number eight mm-hmm. ranked Anna Coyotes. This one Tasty. Slaps. Yeah, I was uh, I was looking for a really, really good DFW game that we could make as one of our spotlight games um, on Texas football tonight. And I came across this one looking at our rankings, actually, on our website. And I was like, man, I've got to get this. So I texted uh, the coach over there at Anna, and I was like, man, how can I get this on Texan Live? And he was like, you're approved. Let's get it. Let's so go. We're, uh, we're super, super pumped for that. This one's really fun, man. It's, it's just one of those things we're interesting to see. Anna's having to fill a lot of different spots, but we have yeah. real good faith in the, the depth of the young players that they have. Decatur has all the pieces. Steve Huff's going into his second year um, as head coach. This one is spicy. I think if you like high-flying high-tempoed offenses, this mm-hmm. is exactly where you're going to want to end up. But how about that? A reminder here as I bring up this last graphic, Texas football tonight, Dave Campbell's Texas football tonight. You can stream it for free on Texan Live tomorrow night in the inaugural episode, 7.30 to 10. Nick Laupius, Ishmael Johnson, and the rest of the Dave Campbell's crew bringing you live look into all the games that we have on Dave Campbell's Texan Live. And I do want to reiterate one more time, just because we have those games as our spotlight games does not mean we are not diving into tons of games across Mm -hmm. the state, 54 different games um, across Dave Campbell's Texan Live this entire weekend, week one of the Texas high school football season. We are very, very, very excited for this. So join us and let's finally get some football action in. (laughs) 